This is code.org. Let's see what we got. What line of code should replace missing code? Oop, and notice, guys, this is a comment, right? Slash asterisk. That means it's a comment. It's for humans, not for computers. They ignore it so that the code compiles. Okay, so what should we add here so the code can run is the question, so that it compiles, so the computer can process our script, our code. All right, so painter Jess. Hey, they named the painter. I like uh, equals new painter. All right, so we're instantiating the class, right? We're creating this new object named Jess. And what type of object? It's a painter object. If blank, right? If missing. So we need a conditional in here. Jess move. So what should we do? We could do can move. We can do Jess dot can move. Interesting. Or we can do can move Jess. So what you want to process through on something like this is that where is can move coming from? And we have seen this method before. Well, we've at least seen move before. And notice when we want a painter to move, this is called dot notation. And that's because a member of the class, a method within the painter class is move. You have the ability to move because somewhere behind the scenes in the class, there is a method that says, you know, public void move. And then inside of it, it would be like, square equals square plus one, something like this. That's why it works. So we have to tell the computer where it's located. That move method is located in the painter class. Well, what is our current version of painter called Jess? So we say, hey, use Jess and go find this move thing. And that's what will make Jess move. It knows where to look for it and what the action will be. So if we want to know if Jess can move, right? Well, where would can move be? That's very likely, or that is, going to be part of the painter class. So we need to tell the computer where to find it. Passing it here as a parameter, or as an argument, is very tempting. It kind of makes sense. We're checking in, we're asking it. However, this would only work if the can move method was not in that class. It was in our current file. We know, though, that can move, just like move, is actually part of painter. So we need to tell the computer, hey, here's painter, use painter, go look at can move. Let's give that a shot. Ba-da! Cool. Onward.